I will try to explain how to put the scroll view within the view controller that has been instantiated from the zip file. So we do use zip files if you have some uh, complex app, complex view to show. So right here, if you wanna, oh sorry, but we all like these. We should definitely use zip files. Uh, but putting the scroll view into the view controller that has been uh, made from the zip file might be uh, a little bit different than what you have seen on other videos. So I decided to make this one. So these are all the view controllers with uh, the zip files. Uh, this is the view controller holding the view and the scroll view within. So uh, let me show you how to make this on a new project. Uh, so let's do Xcode. We're gonna do a new project, and it's gonna be a single view app, of course, and it's gonna be scroll view within view controller from zip. Okay. Let's do next create. So here we have this app. Actually, it's just going to run it. So here it is. We have this view controller show. And if we're going to use the zip files for our other view controllers, let's uh, make a view controller from zip. Well, let's call it master view controller. And Let's make it. Copa touch class has to be controller. And make sure you check this. The next create. Okay. Now we have our master view controller. And let's just add some color to it. New background color. Okay, this one is going to be green. So, what's the easiest way to show this master view controller is to let's just do the view did appear. Make sure you always call it super view or whatever you override if, you, if that seems logical. So, let us show the master view controller and we said this is red that, that one is green so here it is good so the main thing is to put the scroll view over here so to do this when we have this zip file we're getting a zip file and a zip file over here and this zip file as the view over here. Let me just switch this device to something that we use. Okay, iPhone 8. So uh, what we want to do first is to put a scroll view. And let us just drag the scroll view over here. Expand it. There it is. And to add constraints and to be really sure they're, they're added to the right object, do the control drag to the object you want to add constraints to. And push, make sure you push shift if you want to add more constraints at the same time. And now we have the scroll view with constraints to the view. And the next thing that we, that we want to do is add a view within the scroll view. Uh, let's just do the same thing here. Add it. Add constraints. Control drag to the scroll view. Hold shift. And add these constraints. Okay. And also, you can rename this. So it's easier to see what view it is. 
So we have a content view, we have a scroll view, we have a view. Uh, and we have this red arrow here. To get rid of this arrow, we should control drag again from content view to the scroll view. And make sure you hold shift and select equal width in cohorts. That should do the trick. Good. And also, I just put some labels here so we can demonstrate that this is working as it's supposed to be. This is just going to be a top. Let me just center it. Put some constraint to the top. And let me use the other label view. Also center it. And put constraint here. This is just for the demo purpose to show that this is actually working. So we have these two labels within the content view. We'll just run it and show it's still not going to do what it's supposed to do. Here it is, top and bottom. To make this scrollable, we should do one more thing right here. Actually, two things. Uh, we should make this view the size that we want to make. So uh, if we go and select this view and then go over here to the size inspector, we're not able to change the height. But if we go back here to the attributes inspector, see, we can select the size and change it from inferred to the free form, then go back over here and now we can change it to whatever we want to make it. So, as you see, this expanded. So, you might think this is just going to do the trick, or it's just run it, but no. There's one more thing. You see, the bottom is still not way down here. This is not scrollable. So, what we want to do is go back to the content view over here, control drag to the scroll view, and make sure these two are checked. This is really important. And then when we have this content view selected, just add the height of the content view, which is probably just gonna be the same as the view over here. Add that constraint. And also make sure that these constraints, the same height of the content view to the scroll view, that's this one in COVID, you can find them all in here. Make sure that, that the priority of these is set to 250. Let me run this. Now it should work. Yes, this is top. Now we scroll all the way to the bottom. Top, bottom. So whatever you prefer. So the main things, use the view Use the scroll view, use the content view. Scroll view will have all these to the view, and the content view will have all these to the scroll view, including the equal width and heights. Do not forget to put priority of these equal width and heights, actually at equal heights in this case, to the low, which is 250. This way, I will do what it's supposed to do, and that's easy to see. Okay, thanks a lot.